Hey guys, it's me, Cindy. Uh, happy Monday, and um, I am hiding in my bathroom, <laughs> if you can notice this, because I have a four-year-old who will probably come in here. She tends to do that, especially when I'm um, making videos. So, you know, if she comes in, she comes in. Um, so I've seen a lot of you guys have got your um, TDEEs and your BMRs, and that's awesome, and you guys are getting your macros set. Um, <coughs> I wanted to kind of give like a little bit of information because I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of people come in with like really wacky macros like super super low carb um like almost ketosis carbs which is like really really hard to do um I'm not saying it's impossible and it works for a lot of people um generally people who want to track their macros don't do ketosis because they're really kind of going for the whole ketosis thing um and um so I just wanted to make sure that you guys are actually getting your macros right and it looks like possibly the like the IIFYM website I only use to get an accurate um, total daily energy expenditure the TDEE number um, I don't use them to calculate my macros um, they just tend to have that that calculator they use tends to be the most accurate and it tends to be um, the most in line with um, fitness trackers so if like you're using a Fitbit or like a polar like me or you know a jawbone anything else that actually tracks your um, your actual calories and, and everything for, throughout the day that um, calculator because there's a million different calculators online that you can find and that one on the IAFYM website actually takes into account I mean you can do it with lean body mass if you guys know your body fat um, it actually asks you how long you exercise versus a lot of the calculators just ask you how many times a, a week you exercise. Um, so it just tends to actually be a little more accurate. So I use that. Then I use, um, I basically use my fitness pal and I use an app that I posted that's called my fitness calculator to then calculate out my macros and enter them into my fitness pal. Um, I know I posted this, I think yesterday that I generally start and recommend people kind of start at like a 40, 30, 30 ratio. Um, sometimes you'll hear it called the zone, like a lot of people during um, that do CrossFit do that macro ratio. Um, it That's just a starting point though. Like it's, it's, you know, doing macros is just like anything else. It's not perfection and every single person is gonna have an individual experience. You know, like someone who's a really thin, tall marathon runner is gonna need more carbs than me. I'm a super stocky, short, you know, very, you know, stubby kind of person, you know. I don't eat as many carbs as as someone that needs like 50 and 60% carbs because they're running marathons. You know, I need a little bit lower carbs and more protein. I tend to pack on muscle, but I also pack on fat too. And so I have to manipulate my carbs a little bit, you know. And so that's something that you'll just have to learn to get more in tune with your body, that there's no kind of one size fits all for everyone. But that, I've been recommending that to everyone in here because it's a very, very neutral um, place to start. Like the biggest factor in macros is that you wanna make sure that you have enough protein in your diet so that when you're losing weight, if you're at a cut, right? So if you're cutting calories, if you're at a deficit, which is what most of the people I think in this um, group want is they're trying to lose body fat. If you're at a cut, you need to make sure that you have enough protein that equals at least your lean muscles. So, you know, when you do your body fat, you know, you want to have at least that many grams a day, right? So for me, my lean muscle right now is estimated at about 140 pounds. So I actually eat 155 grams of protein a day, kind of overestimate a little bit, which is what the 30% gives me. So sorry, guys. <coughs> So that actually covers you in that area. Now you don't want to change your protein. Like once you kind of get your protein set based off of your, your weight and your body fat, if you do know that, then what you want to change and manipulate are your fats and your carbs, right? So don't ever take away from your protein. Like if you are eating on the 40, 30, 30, and you are not seeing, you know, for two to three weeks, you need to give it that much time and you're not seeing any results whatsoever at the deficit, before I would cut any more calories first, first I would drop like the carbs by 5% and up your fat by 5% of your total calories. And then from there, if it's still not working, like I'd probably go down to about 30% carbs maximum. And then if it's still nothing and you've been totally compliant, 
which that's the key, right? <laughs> it's like we can have these awesome plans, but if we don't follow them, like that's my downfall is that I am like tracking to a T during the week and then over the weekends, I'm like infinity macros, like, you know, which doesn't work. So that's actually a goal of mine. So you have to make sure you're compliant, right? And um, because obviously it won't work if you aren't compliant or trying to at least get it done. Um, so, you know, before you start cutting more calories, right? You know, one of the main benefits of IIF, YM and flexible dieting is that you can eat more. Like who wants to starve themselves to lose weight? I don't think any of us really want to starve ourselves to lose weight, but it's like pumped in our brains to do that. Um, okay. <coughs> so sorry, gum. Oh, I haven't been feeling very well today. So, um, so one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is how, once you get all those numbers set and in my fitness pal, kind of how to do it, right? Because I'm going to just share with you guys how I do it. And I kind of do it how um, I, I put that blog post in, in the group. And um, that blog post I found randomly like a little bit over a year ago. I was searching and I'm the type of person that like researches everything. So I was searching and searching and searching and it just really like made it like an aha moment for me and made it simplify so much. And so basically what I do is I, um, you know, I, I, I go grocery shopping once a week. I go on Sundays usually and I meal plan our, our dinners, um, for the week, um, on Sunday. Right. So I, I plan out all of our dinners that we're going to have. And then I basically kind of use the same, um, kind of like respiratory stuff today. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, so you gotta bear with me. <laughs> um, I basically do the same, you know, kind of breakfast, lunches, and snacks, like about the same three or four type things that all like inter intertwine and inter inter switch throughout the week. So basically, what I do is I every every night I will take about ten minutes and I will set my macros for the next day. So, um, and, and the more you do it, the easier it gets, believe me, trust me in that. Because like the first time I did it, it took me like, it probably took me an hour, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, and then like the more and more I did it, the, the easier it got. And the more you can just start seeing macros, like you start, you look at your nutrients on your MyFitnessPal and you go, okay, I need whatever, uh, you know, two grams of fat and I need, you know, 15 grams of protein and you know, carbs, and, and I know that that's, a, you know, half a cup of cottage cheese, right? So you'll start to see stuff like that and the, the longer you do it. And so basically, what I do is the first thing I enter in is my dinner, right? Because that's the variable from the for the day. So I enter in the dinner, I enter in like an average portion size, whatever I'm going to have. And then I enter in the things that I know that I have every single day. So like for me, I, um, I have Shakeology, um, I have my Shakeology from Beachbody every day. I, if I'm lifting the next day, I know that I'm going to have, um, pre-workout. Well, I'm not doing pre-workout anymore, but, um, <laughs> I know I'm going to have my post-workout shake and I know I'm going to have my nighttime shake from Beachbody. So those are like the consistent things that I know I have every single day. And you know, that adds up a lot because I mean, between the three of those, it's like 40, 50, 55, 55 to 58 grams of protein, right? Just in those three, um, the recovery shake and the nighttime shake and the shakeology, right? So I do those first. So I do my dinner and those first, and then I fill in the rest, right? So then I, I start with a smaller por you know, portion, whatever normal portion, like, you know, one egg and three egg whites or something for breakfast with vegetables or whatever. And then my lunch and then kind of snacks and I just kind of see where it is. And then when I get close to it, um, I kind of just tweak the serving sizes just until I get to it. Or like I'll add, you know, half a piece of fruit here or what, whatever I need to add. And I don't ever try to make it 100% perfect. Like I don't want you guys to think that if you're not um, doing the numbers perfect, then you're failing or something. I do try to get between plus or minus five grams of each the ones, you know. So I try to get plus or minus grams of my carbs. I try to get plus or minus uh, five grams of my protein and plus or minus grams of um of my fats. And then if that's the way, I call it good, right? If I can't get it closer, I'm not going to spend hours on that. Um, and then on days that like, if you're like out and about with your family or doing whatever, and it's basically impossible, you have no idea what kind of food's going to be anywhere or something like that. I don't stress about it. You know, I try to stay under my calories. 
So I do still track my food, even if I'm out or eating out or doing something that like throws off my schedule. And I'm just mindful about my protein. Like that's the only thing that I'm mindful about because I know that my protein is going to be the number one key to me keeping my lean muscles as I drop body fat. Okay. So that's kind of how I do it. Um, if anyone else here does it a different way or you guys have any questions about that or anything like that, just post them below and we can all kind of chat about it and and uh, yeah, and I hope that you guys are able to start getting some progress and, and actually start tracking this week so you can see how it works for you. Okay, bye, have a good day.